Good day, good day, beloveds. I trust that you are all well. God has laid a word in my spirit. But let us start off with a word of prayer. Father, I just cover this word with the blood of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you would minister to the hearts of your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, the prophetic word that the Holy Spirit has laid in my spirit to decree for the month of November is that this is the month of change and transition. This is the month of change and transition. When you look at Genesis 32 verse 22, it says, The angel of the Lord came to Jacob, visited Jacob, and they wrestled until dawn break. The angel of the Lord visited Jacob, and they wrestled until dawn break. And it was after they wrestled, that the angel of the Lord now said to Jacob, you will no longer be called Jacob, you will now be called Israel. And you will transition into your destiny. And he transitioned with much more boldness and clarity. Now the question is, why didn't the angel just come and say, Hey Jacob, God is changing your name. You're no longer Jacob. You are now Israel. They had to be a wrestling. The wrestling is the birthing process. The wrestling needed to happen. Because there can be no transition without wrestling. There can be no transition without wrestling. Because he could not enter into his destiny as Jacob. God had to change his name. The name Jacob means crooked one so god had to break him of his crookedness break him of every habit that is in line with crookedness so that god can transition him into israel and I feel this word so strongly in my spirit. I feel this word so strongly in my spirit that there is a transition that is happening. There are things that are changing in the realm of the spirit. There are things that are changing in the realm of the spirit. There are things that are changing in the realm of the spirit. Great changes on the horizon. The wind of the winds of change are on the horizon. God is transitioning you into your new. Ooh, ba 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 ba. There is a if you are currently experiencing a wrestling, it is because some things are changing, and God needs you to change certain things before He transitions you into the new. God wants to break you off certain things, certain limitations, certain habits, certain people, certain mindsets, certain beliefs. Some of you are wrestling and believe. Some of you are wrestling. Past hurts. You are wounded. Some of you are wrestling. Inferiority complex. You feel inferior. Some of you are wrestling with lack. Some of you are wrestling with sickness. And as God breaks you of those things, he is transitioning you into the new. The new house, the new name, the new things, the new position. But you must be prepared. 
Because God is not going to transition you into, into your Israel season with Jacob habits, with the Jacob mindset. The Bible says that his hip was dislocated. There are some things that God needs to dislocate you from. And this transition happened when Jacob, when Jacob's 11th son was born through Rachel. When Joseph was born. And Joseph grew up to be the prophet of God. The prophet that God used in a foreign land to transition the Israelites into a land of prosperity and blessing in a foreign land. In one of the toughest economic breakdowns. But God used him to transition the people of Israel into a season of blessings even in the family. I prophesy as the prophet of God. It does not matter what the economy says. It does not matter that there is corona. God is blessing you despite the economy. God is blessing you despite pandemic. God is blessing you despite every limitation. God is blessing you and transitioning you into the new. I declare and decree the winds of change are in the horizon, uh, on the horizon. And God is transitioning you into the new, into your new season, into your new things. But you must be prepared because with great blessings come great responsibilities. And God needs to trust you to steward what he's bringing you into. For this is the season of great change and transition. God is moving and you must be prepared. This is not a word to get too excited if you are not willing to put in the word you the work you must be excited and ready to work you must be excited and ready to take on new responsibilities with every new transition there comes responsibilities so be prepared be excited and be prepared because god is moving and he is moving now father thank you for this prophetic word as i've decreed it in as your prophet so shall it be for you do not release a word without it heavy and yielding fruits thank you for the testimonies that are coming from this word in the name of jesus amen god richly bless you beloved if you would like to become a blessing in the ministry and you are led to so kindly do so mm, my information is in the description box and so is my email god richly bless you shalom